The first and most important thing to understand when learning to draw is perspective, because we need to know how to draw what our eyes perceive. For example, if you look at the road, in the distance this road becomes narrower, but in reality it's the same size. Likewise with the objects. The closest part of an object you draw is always bigger than the part the furthest away. It's also seen very clearly when we look at the buildings. Here the closest angle to us is larger and higher than the distant one. Now let's look at perspective with the cube example. Here are three different cubes and their closest edges are bigger than the distant ones. And if we extend these horizontal edges, they will cross somewhere, right? Remember the road photo. So they will cross at one line. This line is called the horizon, horizon line. I don't know why it has this name, because this line is at eye level and not at the actual horizon. Why do we need it if we don't see it and don't show it when we draw? Because depending on the position of the object relative to our eyes, we will see it differently. For example, the cube we are looking at is below the level of our eyes. Now these horizontal edges slant upwards. And if we take the same cube and lift it up, the same horizontal edges will slant down. Try to take any object, put it down and then up, and you will see the difference. Let's move on. This cube sits at an angle to us. Horizontal edges go left and right and will cross at the first and then at the second point. These points are called vanishing points. And when there are two of them, such a perspective is called angular or two-point perspective. Here is the second cube. We see only two faces, top and frontal. And look, the horizontal edges will tend to one side and to one point. So here we have frontal or one-point perspective. There is also a third kind of perspective, often used in ID sketching. When the cube is at angle to us, the horizontal edges, as in angular perspective, converge and meet at the first and the second point, and the vertical edges moving away also converge and eventually meet. This is called three-point perspective. If you look at a high building like a skyscraper, you will see three-point perspective. In industrial sketching, this type of perspective can be used to exaggerate the 3D effect. 